Grand Rising and bright blessings to all of my pedal patrons. It is Sunday, June the 11th, 2023. Making this a six universal uh, day in energy balance. Look at all of this stuff that is taking place here. It's a lot. Now, there's nine major transits that are taking place today, but we're going to see some of these configurations pop up a little bit later this week. I just want to focus on the main ones. And of course, the main one that we have, should I go this way? Let me go this way, <laughs> is where we have Pluto coming out of Aquarius in its retrograde phase into Capricorn. It works well in Capricorn. Those shenanigans that popped up in March, we saw a taste of it. We are going to have to go back and forth between those two energies, but we get a little bit of a break in order to manage ourselves. Now, today it creates this beautiful zero degree <laughs> trine with, look at this, Mercury going back into Gemini. It's going back home. Gemini and some of our Virgos, if you have, I'll just put it this way, if you've been having brain fog, you're going to be coming out of it in these next couple of days because we needed this energy to come in and it is resetting many different aspects between the first and the fifth house specifically. Now, the other big thing that's taking place today is a moon is moved out of Pisces and it's into Aries. So less emotional and more energy towards getting some things done. Again, that fog is being lifted. And the square that's taking place today specifically with Venus and Leo against this uh, Jupiter in Taurus energy is really ask, asking us in that reactivation of that fifth house to examine what is it that you really want to do? Where are you putting my, Are you putting your money where your mouth is on those things that you really want to focus on? Because there is going to be this huge opportunity that shows up later this week with this um, Jupiter in Taurus momentum that's going to be taking place. We are also experiencing this energy that comes in, though, with... Um, Leo aspect into the moon here where um, it's telling us that we are also in another trying position to experience mm, how do I want to call it honestly it's the truth of where we've been Mars wants to move forward okay Mars wants to show us the way Mars is very aggressive in that energy and of course is the ruler of Aries. Um, so there's this energy about let's get some things done. Use this reset energy that we have here today and for the next couple of days, because it'll be with us for the next couple of days, and really sit down and think about not only what you would what you would like to continue to do, now that you had a little bit of taste of how you know things can transform, what it is that you're going to do for yourself, and seriously, trusting your gut. Ex 